Hi everybody. I'm broadcasting from the floor today because I got mail. All right, so I'm off the floor. I was just down there to show you how many there was. There's eight of these boxes, and as you can tell, or maybe you don't know, Spinning Web Services, that's my software company that I own. William Hicks, obviously, it's me, Millie. These are things I ordered. Eight boxes of them. Lots of stuff. Well, lots of one thing. What did we get? What did we get? What did Millie order? We're going to find out, because I haven't opened them yet. All right, so I did not say put packing material in like that. What the heck? I sent this thing with specific packing instructions and I get shredded paper. I said, oh, oh God, damn, what you do? It's gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a mess. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the things I want? There should be two in this box and four in every other box. Maybe he just put some in this one because it didn't work in four boxes. <laughs> So let's just put you over there to the side for a second. Ew! I'm hoping you just did this one because there was going to be aerospace in this one. I didn't say anything about what to do with the space. See, I, I, I sent pictures on how to pack it and everything because I'm dead. Alright, so let's just let this here. There shouldn't be anything else in here. Nah, okay. So that's good. Nesting material. Let me get this out of the way. I'll show you what's in these envelopes in a moment. Some of you may already know, because you know me. But it's Adam related. So here comes the big reveal the ta da! Data drives. 30. 3 0. Data drives. These things haven't seen the light of day since. 86, thereabouts, 85, 86. They've been sitting on a shelf that long. They were sent back in factory returns because the people that had them said they squealed. We know what it means when a drive squeals. Yeah, it just needs some oil. Data drives. Look at these data drives. Data drives. So that's two. Let's put these over to the side. Actually, here, set these over to the side here so I don't inadvertently knock one before. Another box. Box two of eight. So yes, these have been sitting. These are all factory turns that were sent back in. Okay, you only did that on the one. Okay, they were sent back in because for the most part, they just squealed. Customers didn't like them. They said there was something wrong with them. They were never tested. They were just put on the shelf. Data drive! Data drive! Oh, that one's popped off a little bit. I'll fix that. Three! Four! And every one of them is supposed to be the same type. Oh, this one actually says bad on it, so we, we got us a clue. I, I'm expecting to have to go through all these and... Look them over, make sure they work, clean them up, figure out what's wrong with them. Five. I wonder what this is. It's a data drive. Six. Have you ever seen so many data drives? Box three of eight. I wonder what this is. I wonder what it is. It's, it's data drive. That's seven. I, I was counting on. Okay, I'm gonna move these off the table. I'm gonna put them over here. By the atom for now. Okay. Data drive. Data drive.
Got to drive. I think this is a data drive. <gasps> data drive and it's got paperwork too. Look at this. This has got paperwork. Original factory paperwork. Check it out. Stuffs. From what day? 1988. This is a Honeywell thingy. They just say bad. And the guy that I got these from, that was his job. That's what he used to do is just repair these things. They said the vast majority of them when they came in and they were damaged or a customer said there was something wrong with them. They, and I believe they means Honeywell, didn't even bother to test them. They just sent them out a new one. I guess it was a cheaper since Coleco wasn't making anything anymore. They just had all the stock, so they just sent them out a new one. Don't worry about it. So there's a good chance that a big chunk of these have nothing wrong with them other than the fact that the customer didn't know what they were doing. That is right. If that one says bailed on it. Data drive, and every one of these we may have made sure they're all the same kind, and every one of them has the encoder wheel is in there, not melted, so that I don't have to replace those. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Data drive. Oh, this one's got a crack. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, I guess I have to replace that plastic. I'll find a piece. I mean, there's a chance that. Some of these are actually really damaged and need fixing. Data drive, just as bad. DDT SP, whatever that means. Box five of eight. So you probably wonder why did Millie buy so many boxes or so many data drives? Well, because I love the Atom computer. I love supporting the Atom computer. Data drive. Ooh, that's got a little. Oh, okay. It's got a broken hinge there. I got replacements for that. So yes, I love the Atom computer. It's my thing. So I don't mind investing money into things, buying them and fixing them and reselling them because doing that lets me do things I love doing, which is fixing computers and fixing old computers, fixing Atom computers. It supports the community that I love and I may get to make a little bit of money off my hobby and support my hobby so that I'm not spending money that I would normally be spending on my children. Or actually, just my child now, because the rest of them are adults. Data drive. You should see the pile. Well, you will when I get done. Box six of eight. So, yeah. This is cute. What we got here? I believe this is another data drive. Is that joke getting old? Data drive. Oh, somebody wanted to let us know that this was drive A. Okay, drive A. And I'm not throwing these plastic bags away in case anybody's thinking of recycling. I will use them for shipping still. They just make great packing material too. Data drive. Text message. That's probably my wife. What are you doing? data drive. So far I've only had I think three wood, wood issues that are visible. One the hinge was broken off or unhooked. One has a cracked face plate and the other one had the broken hinge pin. And that's it. Another data drive. Yeah. My Adam's getting buried in data drives. Box seven 
of eight. Hey, got the packing tape I sent up. See, when I bought these, I sent the guy packing materials, the labels, the packing tape, instructions on how to pack them. I wanted to be the good person, do the right thing. Data drive. See, by doing that, I didn't have to worry about it might get getting packed wrong. Originally, I was going to drive up and get them to New York, but I decided it was a long drive on Memorial Day to go get these, and then I looked at sh having them shipped down. Oh, by the way, data drive. And I looked at the price of having them shipped down to me, and the shipping was only like $80 total. Uh, actually, was it 80 Uh No, there was eight boxes at 13 so whatever that works out to. Somebody do the math. 100 and something. Still, a lot cheaper than gas. And... I didn't have to drive. I didn't have to worry about flat tires. Dad drive. This one actually has been open. I can see that. I didn't look at the others yet, but the others, eh, maybe. I'm running out of place to pile them. And I still got another box. Let's see. Data drive. Oh, that one says it's fast. So, again. Now, bear in mind also. It's the last box here. Bear in mind also that we're talking between 86 and, or yeah, we just say between 84 and 88. That a lot of, I got another text message. I should check my messages. Um, a lot of these people weren't like us retro guys that know how to take care of old hardware. And if the tape would load, yeah, the tape drive was broken. Then there probably probably was no thought about um, well maybe I erased the tape maybe the tape is dirty they just called them up they said I'll oh, send it in we'll fix it because Coleco is doing major damage control so yeah so I'm rolling the dice but I think I got some loaded dice here and I think I'm going to be doing very well with this now is, are all these going to work right out of the box without any work on them no. But I think I should be fairly confident in saying maybe two thirds, maybe half will work straight out of the box. Another dad drive. Have you ever seen so many dad drives? And here's the last one. I wonder what this last thing is in the bag. I think it's a data drive. Oh, this thing got writing on the top too. Data drive. Oh, no, that's not writing. Data drive. Need a little cleaning. So there we go. Now what I'll do is I will take the camera off the mount here, and I'll show you what my data drives look like piled up. Yeah, so that was where I was just at. That's my bench and my lights. Here's for all the packing materials. If you ever watch me do a video and you hear me rattling around and you can't see what I'm doing, I'm digging in my thing down here for something. I got to clean that again. And while I'm doing this, I'll give you a little brief tour real quick. Here's some packing material. That's the ZX81 systems over there. That's the other office over there, my main office. There's my tchotchkes. That's a project. That's my computers. There's all the data drives. Just check them out. That's a lot of data drives. And there, there, there's an Atom computer underneath there. And a power supply. And an ADE. And a switch box. And some cartridges. But yeah, data drives. Did anybody say they like data drives? So, Millie has something to do for the next couple of weeks. That's after I build power supplies. So that was a quick mail call of all the things I ordered here. I'm gonna turn around and say, have a great day.